A winter storm warning is in effect for our area. Currently in our area, 34 degrees under sunny skies. Here's our local Doppler radar. For tonight, fair to partly cloudy, low 26, winds east-northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And on Sunday, snow showers and steadier snow developing later in the day, high 32, winds east-southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour, snow accumulating 2 to 4 inches. And Sunday night, cloudy with snow, sleet or freezing rain, low 26, chance of precipitation 90%, 2 to 4 inches of snow expected our week ahead. Well, here we go. Checking in on the Twin Cities. A live look here for you in and around Minneapolis. Warmed up from this morning where we were in the teens. Now right around 25 degrees. A little bit more cloud cover streaming in though for us. It was a bit more on the sunny side. And we are anticipating, well, some big time changes here for us with snow on the way. Yeah, that's going to be driving on in. And hence, we have winter storm warnings out there for you. Anywhere shaded in the white. And that does include Minneapolis going into effect tomorrow morning through Monday morning morning stretching into Wisconsin back into South Dakota and now just in the last about 10 15 minutes blizzard warnings here in South Dakota Yeah, that's because we're going to be dealing with the system coming in bringing with it snow and wind all that combined could reduce those visibilities quite a bit making it very very tough to navigate potential whiteout conditions in these areas now right now things are very very quiet the radar you don't see a whole lot going on out there just a few very light snow showers right now north of Minneapolis this has pretty much worked its way from North Dakota worked its way east, very, very light activity, and then farther on off towards the south where it's much, much warmer. Well, we have a few showers out there for us across central and southern portions of Missouri. And at times here and there, there have been a few lightning strikes showing up. You can see here popping up here on the radar again, just south and east of Kansas City, a few lightning strikes. So a rumble or two of thunder cannot be ruled out. But we'll watch this continue to move east and clearing out, and then we'll wait on this next storm system pulling out of the west as that works its way east. We've got cold air coming in from the north. We're going to be watching for that setup for some wintry weather. So heads up there, Minneapolis working your way back into Wisconsin, dealing with that snow issue out there for you. We could see six to 12 inches of snow, potential for even some icing there in northern portions of the state of Illinois and then farther south, looking at mainly rain through the Ohio Valley. But still, uh, the track of the system going to determine who deals with snow, who deals with rain. But uh, several million folks are going to be dealing with this system here heading into Sunday and Monday. Here's that snowfall forecast over the next two days. You can see what we're going to find ourselves dealing with close to a foot in some cases out there for us as we head on through. Jeff? Well, we'll have live team coverage of this storm from Minneapolis beginning tomorrow at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Our own Mike Seidel and Crystal Egger will be bringing us live reports throughout the day. Well, after a brutal winter with snowstorm after snowstorm, spring may not be too kind for residents in the Midwest. NOAA has released its preliminary flood forecast and it's urging residents to get prepared now. Meteorologist Eric Fisher has the story. It is the next wave stemming from this winter's back-to-back -back snowstorms. Spring's big thaw. 